Oh no, and Jeff Gordon. Where in the oh, world? Bring it to me. He's over at the exit oh, of turn and Jeff Burton involved. This had to happen yeah, at the opposite end of the racetrack. God, we just raced on the backstretch. 24 cut up in front of me and caught my right front fender. Jeff Burton my left front. Here's what happened with Gordon and Burton. Well, I don't know about wow. that. Hard contact for the 24. And they're going to go and talk it out here. Oh, uh -oh. and this is. Uh-oh. Well, we've got a fight breaking out. Yeah, Jeff's not happy. Jeff, Jeff Gordon not happy with that, what happened there. Officials stepping in between, but this is far from over. I mean, there weren't even words exchanged. We came off turn four, and, and it's really hard to see off turn four, and he drove underneath me. And um, when he drove underneath me, I should have let him go, and I didn't. The caution came out, and he pulled up next to me to, to tell me that he was upset at me. And then he went he went on, and I went to pull up next to him to, you know, to acknowledge him, to say he was right. And I, I turned left, and he was turning left, and we just hung up, and when we hung up, off we went it was uh i don't i honestly don't know what happened it was my it was my fault 100 percent. it was my fault it's like once we got together i couldn't i couldn't get it off of him i didn't mean to hit him i made a pull up to him and tell him he was right because he was upset at me for what happened off turn four and uh i should have let him go because you can't see over there right now and you don't need to be side by side and you know he uh i don't blame him for being mad i'd have been mad too and uh i don't know i guess he was just really frustrated with the way his car was handling or something and I mean, he just drove into my right rear and put me in the wall under caution. I'm, you know, of all the people out there, I never thought that it would happen with Jeff Burton. I mean, I've always had a tremendous amount of respect for him, but I certainly lost a lot of respect today. And <laughs> Well, like I said, I knew he was going to be mad, and I don't blame him for being mad. He didn't do anything that he shouldn't have done. He was upset, and he should have been upset. I wrecked him under caution. I didn't mean to wreck him, but I wrecked him under caution. And uh, he meant to tell me he was upset, and that you know that was okay. I don't have I don't have a I don't have a bit of problem with what he did. He was mad, and he should have been mad. Thankfully, I had a long walk down there to him because I thought I did about the least amount that I wanted to do. You know, I wanted to show him how upset I was, but I wanted to do a whole lot more than that. And I held back, and you know, I just um, you know, I just still in disbelief, and um, I didn't want to be in the ambulance with him. I can tell you that, but uh, we got in there, and you know, I, I like Jeff. I mean, he, he's a guy that. Uh, you know, usually very rational, and, and uh, I respect his opinion. And, you know, he apologized, said it was his fault. He said he didn't mean to do it, and whatever, it's over.